music. And in short, listen to the lecture, the classical hit, it's back. Because I'm not going to repeat it. But music has misguided the Muslims, and particularly what is called today Islamic Nasheed. Because they couldn't tell them music, you know, they can't tell them 50 halalas anymore. They have to change it around, so they bring you Sami Yusuf for his likes. And there's not much difference between them. Both of them use musical instruments, both of them sing on stage, both of them have a chorus in the background, and both of them put out albums and both of them are making a lot of money singing. But what we call it, Islamic Nasheed, so you can listen to it day and night, day and night, and you know, as soon as there's Allahu Akbar, the first thing that comes to mind is that Nasheed. Is that Nasheed, not the Fatiha, not the life to come, not death, no, 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 Nasheed. And no matter how much you try to kick it, you can't. Because it's from the shayateen, and the shayateen will present it to you right at the time when you want to run away from it. If you had run away from it in the beginning, it wouldn't come to you at the time of salah. Had you been spending your time listening to the Qur'an and studying the Qur'an, then when you're sitting by yourself, you'll be thinking of the Qur'an. You'll be thinking of these ayat you were trying to memorize. You won't be thinking about something else. <coughs> Music.